Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and on today's Skincare Saturday video, I'm pretty excited. We're not testing a skincare product because I'm in the middle of testing a long skincare product situation, but we are testing something kind of fun and kind of exciting and I kind of hope it works. What is it? Well, I'll tell you. So before I tell you, let me get into a little backstory of why we are testing this product today. So remember when I tested that um, winged eyeliner stamp? Remember um, how it didn't really work for me because I have hooded and downturned sad puppy dog eyes? Well, I've always known that I've had hooded and downturned sad puppy dog eyes. And while it's bothered me, it never really bothered me as much until I tested that winged eyeliner stamp. And ever since then, I've been like, man, you need like a face lift, an eye lift, a thread lift, a forehead lift, an eyelid replacement removal lift. Because seriously, not that you're ever going to do a winged eyeliner, but what if you wanted to? You can't. So I've been seeing these little crescent moon pieces of tape that you're supposed to be able to put into your eyelid here. And it's supposed to lift it. So guess what? I ordered some. And we're testing them. I know. I'm excited. Let's get into it. I looked at, well, I was going to say I looked all over the place. I looked two places for these in town so I could shop locally. I looked at my local Ulta and then I also went to Bed Bath & Beyond because I felt like they've got some crazy shit. They probably have these, but they didn't. So I had to order from the Amazon. Oh gosh. And let me tell you. I was trying to research. There are a million, a million, a million different brands of these things all over the place. For several days, I was doing Google searches on the best ones, the cheapest ones, ones that are gonna look clear, the ones that stay. I did a lot, a lot of research. And with all that research, this is where I ended up. The double eyelid styling. It says, number one selling eyelid, new. Make your eyes look more beautiful. Three shaped for all eyelid. Easy and comfortable eyelid correcting, instant eyelid lift, long lasting makeup. Now this package comes with 480 pieces. Now that is individual, so you have two eyes. Unless you only need to lift one eye, you'll be using two each time. So what's that give you, 240 uses? That's a lot of days. So let's look at how much this little box cost me and what it's supposed to do. So on the Amazons, this is $17.96. Sense. It says, eyelid tape, invisible eyelid lifter strips with lifting cream, fork rods, and tweezers for naturally instant eyelid. All the things I want. Our double eyelid tape can enhance your eyes, does not affect the makeup, will give you a pair's... <laughs> I'm reading it straight from the Amazon description. We'll give you a pairs of charming eyes. Three different eyelid tapes. The slim eyelid tape, olive shaped eyelid tape, and wide eyelid tape. It is convenient for you to choose and create different widths of double eyelid as you like. Invisible and easy to color. Ultra thin and will not cause any discomfort or irritation on your skin. This eyelid sticker has strong stickiness, not easy to fall off. Waterproof and and sweat proof. It can stay on your eyes all day long. Help you improve the appearance of hooded, sagging, or drooping eyelids. Easy to fix and easy to make natural. Deep double eyelids. Okay, so there we have it. Let's open her up and put these puppies on. Usage method. Clean the eye skin and wipe it clean. Close your eyes and find the location of the crease. Put double eyelid tape stick above the above the crease. Gently press and adjust with a Y fork. It does say they're high quality adhesive fiber. It is hypoallergenic, waterproof, and durable. No skin irritation, almost no sticky residue. Lift the eyelid immediately without surgery. The eyelid modeling cream is more refreshing, transparent, thinner, and not thick. Let the skin breathe without damaging the skin. Okay. Opening it up. Ooh, ah, we've got some stuff. A little plastic 
tweezers situation, Y fork. We've got empty like spritzer bottle. Is this just gone? I, I don't know. This has like a brush end tip. This says West End Month Double Eyelid Cream. So this is some sort of a cream. And then we've got our many, many, many eyelid stickers. Now the thing is, is like, what shape do I use? I don't know. Hopefully it tells me. And then we've got some directions. It's just one little tiny piece of paper. Okay, so the very first thing I need to do is clean my eye skin and wipe clean. I did wake up, wash my face, put on my skincare. So I think I'm just gonna go get a like a cotton pad. Oh, actually, I'll get a makeup removal wipe and we'll just do this because I don't wanna jack up my whole skincare I just did. I am just going to get any sort of skincare cream residue off of my eyelids and let that dry. Okay, now what? Close your eyes and find the location of the crease. <sighs> my eyes are closed. How am I gonna see the location of my crease? Anybody? Put the double eyelid tape stick above the crease, gently press and adjust. How do you pick your size? Okay, wait, now I'm extra super fucking confused. So this side of the paper says how to put the sticker on. Then this side says double eyelid styling cream. <laughs> I'm styling. It says for this, close your eyes, avoid the inside of the eye and the end of the eye, close to two millimeters from the root of the eyelashes when applying. Quickly apply the double eyelid cream lightly and evenly until it becomes transparent. Wait for a while, about 20 seconds, or blow it down with a fan and wait for the styling cream to dry and become transparent. Use the Y-shaped stick to hold the double eyelid line for five to 10 seconds. Open your eyes to set the shape. What the fuck? Do I put the sticker on first and then the double eyelid cream? Or do I put the double eyelid? What? What? Or are these like, you can use one or then the other because on the back of the box it says the same thing. So does the styling cream like stick or I, I don't know, let's fucking try it. Do we put the sticker on then put the glue? I think they're used exclusively from each other, not like mutually together, don't you guys think? Let's do this and just see what happens. All right, so here's this, it's like a little paintbrush and then underneath we've got a twisty. Is there anything? No, that's dry, come on. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, you see it? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, hello, so. Let's paint it. Don't go down to your lash line. Do I do like my whole, oh, it's really a lot of product. I'm going above the crease, but not all the way up to my eyebrow. I'm wondering if this is literally just gonna stick our eyelids, you know, to itself. Cause then how would you apply makeup? You wouldn't be able to, I don't think. Okay, I feel like I've got it on there pretty good, pretty even. And now we wait 20 seconds or fan it dry. And then what? Use the Y-shaped stick to hold the double eyelid line. These directions are not very clear. So here's my Y-shaped tool or fork. Oh, I do feel it. Look, they're sticking to themselves. My eyelids are sticking to themselves. Look, it's stuck to itself. Look at that. So yeah, um, I, I just gluing my eyelid together. It says use the, oh my God, my eyelids feel so fucking weird right now. It's like pulling them open because they're stuck to each other. Why do I use this? Use the Y-shaped stick to hold the double eyelid line for five to seven seconds. Open your eyes to set the shape. Well, this, okay, I must've put way more on this one because this one is so sticky. What do I do? Go like that for five to 10 seconds. Open it to set the shape. No, look at this. What? Maybe I just push my eyelid back into my face. Eight, nine, 10. No, look what happens when you take the fork off. It pulls the skin out that was supposed to be stuck together. Okay, but I gotta tell you, this feels so weird. My eyelids are stuck to themselves. I don't like this feeling whatsoever. I don't, I don't understand. I mean, I get that you like push your skin back and then it will like seal itself to itself, but it feels really weird. And then when you try to take the fork out, like that's a nice look, but watch when I take the fork out because my skin sticks to it, it just pulls the skin down. That's not a very nice look. And don't even try to put makeup on this. Look at this, I just made more creases. But I guess I could style my eyelid however I want and it will stay. You want more wrinkles? Yeah, this will achieve it. No, we gotta get this shit off. No, I don't like this. I don't, look, I don't like it. Look, that is crazy. No, 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 and no. Get this off of me. I almost want you guys to just buy this 
just for that styling glue cream stuff, just so you can experience what it feels like to have your eyelids glued to themselves. It is the weirdest fucking feeling ever. It feels like someone was clamping my eye open. No thank you, no ma'am. Now, let's try these. But my issue is, is which one do I use? Because there's really skinny, a little bit wider, but not as crescent moon shaped. And then there's these ones, which you won't be able to see, but there's a line in the middle, so it's like flat on this side and rounded on this side. I think those are two stickers there. Let's use this one and see what happens first. Now, I'm supposed to close my eye and place this above the crease, which is going to be difficult, I have a feeling. Okay, like that. Who knows, where's my white fork? I feel like you can definitely see the sticker. Maybe I place why? I mean, she looks so good. It looks like she's placing it under the crease in the picture. No, 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 that's not good. Okay, let's try the other eye and maybe I'll place it a little lower. Maybe this isn't my right shape, who knows? Maybe you, they give you so many because you're gonna go through 8,000 of them before you find the right one. I mean, it kind of blends in with my skin. No, no. Let's try a different shape. Let's try the little skinny crescent moon ones. And maybe I feel like I need to place it a little bit more here to hopefully give me some lift there. I don't know. Guys, did I just waste $17.95? I was so ready to be like, oh my gosh, I'll put the link in my description box below if you guys want to try them because they're awesome. And then you could wing liner the shit out of yourselves. Okay, there's my crease. It says place it above my crease. They are pretty sticky, I will say that. Okay, that looks good. Where's my fork? I think that corner's a little too high. Okay, okay, I am not gonna lie. It is lifting. See how this eyelid kind of lays on my lashes while this one isn't not laying on my lashes. Look, you can see a little bit more this skin underneath. I really think it's about finding the proper position. Not super completely, but kind of, right? I think this is gonna need some finesse and some practice. Okay, there's my crease, see it? I'm gonna put this above. I'm gonna angle that one down. Oh, 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 I kinda like that placement. I mean, it does blend in pretty well with my eyelid skin. Okay, what did I do? I just made two folds. But look, it's definitely lifted off of my lashes. My upper lid is not resting on my eyelashes. Can you, oh, I don't think you can really see it when I blink. I mean, it looks like it, when I blink and then unblink, it looks like it takes my eyelid a little bit of time to fall into its right place. I don't like that it's doing that. Ain't nobody trying to create more wrinkles, but it did lift a little. Okay, maybe these ones are too, let's try the medium ones. I do kind of want to get it more on the outer. Let's try that. Okay, well, the medium ones aren't like in a crescent shape. They're kind of more flat. I liked the way those thin ones curved, but I don't know. Let's give these a try. All right, so here's one. There's my crease. Let's just put it above. I'm gonna lean more towards the outer corner than the inner corner, but this is so straight. My eye goes like this. <laughs> Okay, wait, <laughs> wait. This is what I mean about it takes my eyelid like a minute to feel like where it needs to fall into place, watch. <laughs> and then I've got it too far out here. Uh, all right, let's try this lid. Oh, oh, okay. So I placed this one in more. This one's out more. You know what, the fork though, they did not round these edges. They're kind of sharp, so be careful. I feel like it's not that sticky right there. No, no, what's happening? Go back, go back like that. I mean, I get what it's supposed to do. Okay, so I took those off. I did take a before picture of me just staring straight so you could see like how my eyelids lay on my eyelashes. Now, we have just gotta figure this out. We can do this. I don't wanna believe we wasted $17.95. And I wanna believe that we can do this. Okay, let's try the bigger one one more time. Why they aren't all crescent moon shape in just a variety of thicknesses, I don't know. Why would you put these ones like straight? I don't get it. Here's the biggest one with a curve on the top and a flat on the bottom. Okay, get in there. Here's my fork. Press it in. I just don't think this is the shape. 
Uh-uh. No. It needs to be curved. It is pretty sticky because it is tricky to get off. So I don't have any doubt that they will stay. I don't know about putting makeup over them, but just them alone, they seem pretty sticky. All right, so I'm going back to the skinniest crescent moon shaped ones. I just feel like those fit my eye the best. While it might not offer the most like eyelid lift, I feel like this is the best shape for me. Let's see. Yeah, I think I went too far in the corner on that one. This is why they have to give you so damn many because you're gonna go through a million before you figure it out how to do it. I'm gonna go inner corner first and then play that. Ooh, ooh. Maybe did I place it right? Let's see. Eyelid, figure it out. Ooh, ooh, oh. Just don't ever blink. Ah, uh, but I'm getting a double fold there. But look, look at the difference. You can see like the lid above my eyelashes where you can't hear. I mean, I just got two, two wings. <laughs> okay, let me play around with these. I think I almost have it. Okay, I'm gonna use the little tweezers and not my fingers. So ba ba ba. I almost feel like my hand is better. I am gonna hold the end that's over here and I'm gonna try to lay this corner end down first. Oh, this one got kind of curled. Son of a bitch. No, 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 no. I can already tell. All right, let's see. Please be in the right spot. Maybe. Fork, where'd you go? Ooh, okay. We just gotta like get this down. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Must feel like this end, kind of press it down better. But look, I didn't get the double wing and you can still see space. <laughs> it's just really weird when you open and close your eye. Just don't have anybody look at you when you blink. Like shove it in, shove it in, shove it in. Okay, I think my eyelids, uh, right as I say, I think my eyelids getting used to it. <sighs> Let's try the other side. Uh huh. Now, I feel like I just went on my crease on that one, but maybe that's what I need to do. Everybody's eye shape is different. You're probably gonna have to find the placement that best suits your eye shape. All right, get my fork. Why do I always lose the fork? I do feel like I did place this one a little better. What is happening? Seven hours later, maybe my eyelids are lifted. Why does this, maybe I mean this, my eyes are two different shapes. That does not look good. And look, this one that's already fallen. It's like the weight of my eyelids have taken over the eye tape. Mmm, man, I don't know if this doesn't work. It looks no different now. It's just, I think I wasted $17.95. I'm gonna try one more time. I can't get them to work. So this one I placed just above my crease and that's what happens. And this one I placed like way, like way above in that divot and that's what happened. I had this huge plan. These were gonna work. I was gonna do a wear test today with no makeup and then tomorrow I was gonna put makeup on and we have a showcase at the pole studio and I was gonna do my makeup and my eyelids were gonna be all lifted. It was gonna be great. And I just don't think that can happen now. I mean, look at this one that I placed super high. It's just now, it's just like, hi, what's up? What do you mean? What, what do you mean? What do you mean what's wrong with my eyelids? Nothing, I've double styled them. What are you talking about? Okay, so I've just taken those ones off. I'm gonna try one more time. I mean, how many have we used? Four, five, six. I've at least tried seven or eight times already. I'm gonna do not super high, but I'm gonna do right above my crease. I'm gonna try to get them in there super great. I'll take an after picture and then I will wear them just to see stickiness because again, maybe it's just my eye. But maybe if you guys don't have as severe of a as I do, maybe this will work for you and I need to do a wear test to make sure they last all day without falling off. Okay, I used the skinny crescent ones and I tried to place them exactly the same. I actually did this eye twice. Here's what we've got. Where's my, I don't know where my fucking fork thing is. I'm using the tweezers. I need to get that down. I mean, pretty much invisible on my skin color, but they do say you can put makeup over the top. So what, <laughs> what's happening? Okay, you know what? This is this is what it is. This is our new snatched look. So I am going to take an after picture and then I'm gonna wear these around. I have to clean the house. 
I have a house guest coming. I'll check in in a little while. I don't know, what even fuck time is it? It's 10.55 in the morning. So I'll check in in a few hours and see what's going on. But honestly, I just have stickers on my eyes that really aren't doing much, except for when I open and close, my eyelids have to like fall into place. But it's still resting on my, it's still resting on my lashes. Okay, well it is what it is. Let's do a wear test. I'll check back in in a couple of hours. Okay, so I put these bad boys on at, what was it, 10.55, and it's 4.40 right now, so in five more minutes, two, three, four, five, seven hours, seven hours, and A, you can't even really see them. They really blend in with my skin, and they haven't budged, and I don't feel them on my eyelids. Like, really? They are lifting a little. It's not like, exactly what I was hoping for. But I mean, it's a little less like, mm, poor sad puppy dog. So I think maybe, just maybe, maybe tomorrow, uh, it, do we even care? Are you guys gonna use these? Should I test it with putting makeup on tomorrow? All right, fine, I'll do it. For the Pole Studio Showcase, I will wear these guys and I'll put makeup on. We'll do the showcase. I gotta be at the pole studio at 2.30 to set up, run rehearsal, what have you. So these are gonna be on for a long time and they're gonna have makeup over them because not only are we doing the student showcase tomorrow, but we're having an after party at the bowling alley in the mall. I know, right? It's gonna be super fun. I'm probably gonna have these on 1.30ish until, who knows? Rage at the bowling alley could be, I mean, to the wee hours of the morning. But whatever it is, however many hours, even though I'll be dead tired, I'll check in after. So the thing is, is even though they're not lifting my eyelids as much as I would like, they are holding up and they are pretty invisible and they are super sticky. And they're like, like I don't even know they're there. And like Davis came home and I was like, oh, I have my eyelid things on. And he's like, what are you talking about? He couldn't even see them. And this is no makeup over the top of them. They just kind of blend in. So, I mean, they're working. I just was hoping for me personally, I would see more lift, but we'll give them a try with makeup tomorrow. And then we'll talk about my final thoughts. Okay, so really quickly, because I have 10 minutes before I have to leave the house, but I've gotten ready for our little pole showcase today. I have my strips on, can you see them? I mean, they do blend in with the skin very well. And for my eye look, I'm just slapping on some eyeshadow. I'm not, there, no. Cause A, we all know we didn't come here for the beauty guru of it all. We're just gonna try to see how well, like does it more stand outable now that I put some eyeshadow on top of it or does it blend right in still? And then now that I have eyeshadow on top of it, how long is it gonna stay? So just so you know the plans for today's wear test, I'm performing as a teacher in the showcase. The group of us teachers are performing. So there's that sweat factor, makeup over the top, and after the showcase is over, the bowling alley for the after party. I probably won't be home until fairly late. And I will check in right when I get home, even if I'm like super sloppy drunk, I'll check in. We'll see what happened. Did I end up ripping these things off? I mean, as far as the eyeshadow is concerned over the top, it's visible, but it's not super visible. So I almost don't mind it. I don't know, if you guys have like a little less of a hood situation than I do, these might work. We're going for just a monochromatic kind of an eye look. Just slap it on, because you got 10 minutes. So makeup look complete. Slap on some mascara and hit the road. So yeah, here they are. And I'll check in when I get home tonight. Okay, so I'm back. Student showcase, done. We went and played bowling. I've had a couple of drinks. I'm not super sloshed or anything. I stopped drinking quite early actually. But if you're noticing this line right here, it's because I was wearing a cowboy hat all night and I just took it off. But we're not here for that. We're here to talk about the, uh, the tapes. They're still on, they're still stuck. I'm gonna say, they're actually, I mean, 
for me, like I need the curve, but I need like a fatter curve. The ones that were fatter, they were straight across. I need the curve. They need to invent the curve. Because if they invented the curve with a fatter curve that actually lifted my eyelid, I would wear these all day, er day. But don't believe me. Hold on one second. Um, Ver, can you please come here? I have people over right now because they decided they wanted to come to my house after, even though I just want to go to bed. But Ver is here and she's going to tell you guys. Yes. Please come in. Hi. She has no idea. Okay, come all the way in. Okay, great. So you don't know this, but I am testing these eyelid lifting strips. First of all, all night long, could you tell I had tape on my eyes? No, I couldn't tell her. She said no. Look, can you see them kind of now? Oh, yeah. She had no idea I had tape on my eyelids all night, and she's been hanging out since, what, 4 o'clock. And what time is it right now? I think it's like 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Try to peel it off. Oh gosh. Do you There's, know? yeah, yeah, try. Because I tried to take these off last night. I wore them yesterday without makeup on. Okay. Yeah, but they're hard to get yeah. off, huh? That was hard. And I had them on, and then I was, I wanted to take a shower. Okay. I, for, I didn't forget that I had them on, but I took a shower and washed my hair, and these did not come off. Wow. I know. Seventeen ninety nine from Amazon. Really? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to lift your eyelids, because you know how I have really droopy eyelids, so I was trying to get something that, like, raised them. These ones, they're just a little bit too thin for my particular eyelid, okay. but... I couldn't even tell. I know. That they they work. They work, you guys. They work. Veronica says so. <laughs> so, all in all, I think the test of the double eyelid styling tape didn't go as horribly as I thought. For me personally and my just really weighty, super droopy eyelids wasn't the best. However, if you have eyelids that are just a little bit droopy and maybe just need a little zhuzh, a little lift, these do everything they say they would do. They stick really, really well. They're practically invisible. You can wear makeup over the top of them. I wish for me, Sherry, personally, that these little curved ones were just a little bit thicker and maybe they would give me the lift that I was wanting to see. But because they only offer the curved in this thin style and then their thicker ones are more straight, that really didn't work out for me. But like I said, for you guys looking for a little lift, a little eye-opening experience, these little dudes for $17.95, might be just the thing you've been looking for. Now, while it does say that you do get 480 pieces, there are three different styles of these little stickers. You're only gonna use one style, so two thirds of the box is not gonna be of use to you, but for the amount that they give you in the style that you need, you could probably make these last like six months, I would say, maybe five months. Every day wear for five months. Once you get used to the style that you need and how you have to apply them, I think for 18 bucks, for like five, six months of wear, that's a pretty good deal. Ain't no other skincare products giving us that good of a price for something that will last that long. I will tell you that right now. So yeah, I thought it was gonna be a total fail, but I'm thinking yes. Can you believe it? A skincare thing that I am saying yes, you guys should go if you are looking for something to lift your eyelids. Again, you judge your own eyelids. These are mine. They didn't quite work for mine, but I just feel like everybody out there has less of a droopy eyelid issue than I do, and I think these will work for you. So if you want to get these exact ones, I'll put the link to Amazon where I got them in the description box below. And if you do end up trying them and you like them, let me know because I'll be very excited. I wish I could wear these more. I mean, I can wear them. They just don't make that huge of a difference. I wish I could wear them and they would make a stunning difference. But unfortunately, that's not the case. I'm still excited about them because I think you guys would get a lot of use out of them and I think they would work for you in your eyelid situation if it's anything less than my eyelid situation. So yep, that's it. There we have it. Another Skincare Saturday video in the books. And I completely approve. Even though they didn't work for me, I completely approve. They did exactly what they said they would do. And I can't ask for much more than that. 
So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring that notification bell so that you are alerted to all of the Skincare Saturday videos I push out, which is every other Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure you share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thanks for hanging out. Wow. I know. Wow.